Hello, everybody. Great to see everybody. Happy Monday. Ohio week. Uh, very exciting. Start on the right, Larry. Jim, this rivalry has always uh, been heated, of course. Um, it seems like there's always been a, a fair level of respect between the coaches. Um, it's hard to determine what that is right now. What would you say is your respect level for Ryan Day and, and their staff? Um, it's a... Uh, it's all about our preparation for Ohio. Um, you know, the days, the minutes, the hours, everything leading up to this game, um, you know, that's where our focus is. Preparing ourselves and planning, going to practice and then execute. So, uh, I mean, anything else is irrelevant, um, you know, when you get into this kind of this big game week. On the back left. Yeah, um, watched the game at my brother's house. Um, great to watch it with him. And uh, what I saw was a, you know, a, a great and glorious win. Really happy with the team. Um, and uh, good to be around his football mind, too. That was, uh, it was uh, accomplished what we, what we went there to do and got the mission done. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's really, it's really a, a battle-tested team um, and empowering people. You know, it's, really, it's really that. Um, you know, I, empowering our coaches, empowering our, our players, and just amazing job that they've done. Amazing um, uh, effort, effort, uh, and um, where players have gone about things, coaches, players. I mean, it's like, I just think back over the last, you know, five, six weeks, especially, I mean, it's just been like a high-pitched siren, you know, like a, like a deafening, ear-piercing um, noise. And just after a while, you start to tolerate it. And, and then before you know it, um, just block it out. So it's uh, stay on course. That's uh, what, our, what our team has done. And, and uh, you know, just keep the priorities right. Um, and keep the priorities straight, which is faith, family, and football. Angelique. Jim, what was your reaction to seeing Chris Carter retiring on Friday? And whose idea was it to elevate uh, Rick Minter? Um, yeah, that was uh, my idea to elevate Rick Minter. Um, what was your reaction to, to Chris retiring? Oh, uh, that, that was, um, I think that statement was put out by the, our university. Um, and describe the situation. I don't have anything to add about it. On the right here, Connor. Jim, last week you were, uh, I don't know if the word excited is the right word, but you were looking forward to an opportunity to speak in court. What exactly changed during the week there to make you guys look to our back? I like it. just said the um, school put out a statement about that, and um, they addressed the situation. Uh, I don't have anything further to add to it. Yeah, yeah, we'll practice Thanksgiving, and then uh, everybody have the opportunity to uh, enjoy the the day with their families. Most of the time, families come in, come in town, and um, you know, those that don't, uh, you know, go with go with a different go with another family. And um, invited to practice, it'd be uh, it's always a great day. On the right, Wojo. Jim, you mentioned the high pitched siren, and mm -hmm. your team has dealt with it, but now this week. Two undefeated teams, the biggest game, everything else. Do you think this truly will be the challenge as to how they deal with it and how you deal with it? Um, I mean, it's, it's – uh, I go back to that uh, – it's like, it's like the Ted Lasso show, you know. Um, believe. And what comes out of that is believe. And I'm just so proud, just so proud of our team. Despite that noise, our locker room's in one piece. And uh, you know, like Ted, for me, locker room's – a lot like my mom's bathing suits. I'd like to see them in one piece. <laughs>
And we've got that, and it's amazing. And there's so many, there's so many lessons to be learned, many life lessons that, that our young guys are learning at, uh, at this age. And it's how the world works and, and keeping the, those priorities straight, faith, family, and football. And we're battle-tested uh, and ready to go. And now it's just, it's all Ohio. The week's all about Ohio. Um, working really hard to get ready for this game using the hours, the minutes, the days uh, to hone our focus, get prepared, plan, practice, and then go execute the game. On the last off day, so you talked a couple of weeks ago about reading the blog and what goes up must, must come down. Uh, what have the last few weeks shown you about the challenges of sustaining success? Yeah, that, um, I mean, stay on, stay on course. Um, you know, one thing about the, about the noise and it starts to um, you know, be tolerated or, or the, and it just gets blocked out and you know, staying on course, staying on the high road um, shortens that time to, to make that happen. And just as a follow up, are you confident that you won't have to have any other staff changes? We are in position to be in position. Um, that's, what, uh, that's what we know, 11 and 0, they're 11 and 0 and um, you know, everything is, all focus and preparation is on this, this game, as it should be. And the last, you mentioned all the players as well that's on the program. What's it been like for you guys the last couple weeks, people saying all these kind of things, and you haven't been able to say anything to defend yourself? Yeah, like I said, I mean, it, uh, it's your piercing at first, then it becomes tolerable, then, then, you, then you block it out. Stay on, stay on course. Staying on the high road is one way to, to shorten that time down, but you know, keeping the priorities right. I mean, faith, family, football, that's, that's uh, you keep those priorities straight, then other things become irrelevant. We've got time for two more, Reiner. Yeah, how much do you think this result is not only determine the future of the program in the short term, but also in the long term? Um, <laughs> that's, uh, don't have the, don't have a crystal ball. Um, it's all about this game. Um, that's where our focus is, getting prepared, getting ready to execute. And, uh, and I think our team is battle tested and, and there's going to be tough to beat. Looking forward to it. And given all that's gone on, I mean, have you given, <clears throat> given any assurances about your future from the administration? All the focus is on Ohio State. I can say that as many times as, uh, you know, that is, that's just where we're at. That's the focus. That's the, and that's part of the life lesson to uh, focus on the task in front of you. And when you got a task in front of you, it's a big task. You got to, you got to use every day, every hour, every minute um, to plan, practice, get yourself, get yourself right, get yourself in position to, to go out there and play to the best of our ability. He reminds me a lot of his dad. Um, great player. Um, you know, you got to be covered. You, you know, you got to slow him down is probably the better word. Um, you know, do, do our best to, uh, to do that, and everything works together. Uh, pass rush. Uh, the, the, the faster, the more pressure they can put on the quarterback, the, the, um, you know, the better the coverage is going to be. Same with the, the coverage. The better the coverage is going to be, then that allows the, the pass rush to get home. Um, so it's going to, like any, like any game, any, any time you play a team, uh, you know, that team defense uh, is going to be, going to be critical. It all, it all works together.